excuse me, confirmation. But this is definitely the devil clutching somebody's soul. The devil to the, the chariot. And it could be like something very traumatically. They could pass away. Um, I mean, collecting a body, let me say, because they already sold their soul. They already don't have a soul. They're just coming to collect the body, we'll say. Um, it could be maybe even a natural disaster could have happened or a car accident, um, a fire, something. They could do it themselves. It's going to be something like dramatic, I feel like. I feel like the way this person's going to pass is something dramatic. And if they do it themselves, I feel like they're going to go out very dramatically. Whether it be they're going to OD on purpose, but they're going to leave some, like, stupid ass, like, you know, some stupid, like, video or a stupid fucking dramatic ass letter or something. Maybe they're going to, hopefully it'll be about, uh, you know, saying, like, their parts and, like, you know, explaining everything. Coming clean. If they were smart, they that's what they would do. I mean, if they were smart, they would not take their own life. They would be very stupid. Um, especially if you're already, like, thinking that it's bad now. If you think it's bad here now, homie, you don't want to take your own life, okay? Let me just tell you right now, because you're going to go into the worst part of hell. All right, guys, so I don't wish death upon nobody, all right? There's other people, I don't care, even the people that did me the most dirtiest, like, I I mean, I'll pray for you. So I pray that you, should, like, stop from your evil ways, that you, that you find God, and you stop from your evil ways, and you, you know, go on about your life and do whatever you got to do without hurting anybody else ever again, and come clean from you, what you do, what you've done to people. Um, but unfortunately, um, these idiots are still attacking you. They're still not learning their lessons. They're still... And they're like, they can't fight no more. They just can't. Maybe they're very weak. Maybe they have a disease or something. I don't know. Something like this is happening. You're going to find out, though. Whoever this is for, you're going to be finding out someone's passing away. And it could definitely be your ex, or it could be a couple. I don't know. And it's because of when you hear about this person passed away, it's because of this death magic and psychic attacks they were sending you. It's the backfire. They're getting eclipsed out. It's our total eclipse. <sighs> and it's crazy because it doesn't even have to be that way. Like, what the f you don't even do nothing to these people. You mind your own business. Like, how are they, I don't understand. How are they made at you when you did absolutely nothing to anybody? All you did was cut these people off because you found out what they did to you. You won't allow them to abuse you, use you, steal from you anymore. You went on your way. You 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 have your sword up and what? Because you won't allow them to come back in. It could be a Leo. Um, you won't allow them to come back in and finish the job. Like you didn't do not one thing wrong. These people that you have every right to go above and beyond and f every single one of these people up, but you didn't. You didn't get no revenge because you know better. You didn't do any of that. And, like, I don't understand why they're still attacking you. Because they're trying to cover up what they stole from you. These idiots not realize they're being, their every move is being watched. Their every word is being recorded. Their every thought is being, like, recorded. Like, are you dumb or you're just getting yourselves in more trouble? And they hate you and they envy you for no reason when you did nothing. You are nothing but a loyal, divine being. You, and you actually truly love these people. And you never did anything wrong to any of these scumbags. Like, I don't get it. Make that shit make sense. Like, what the fuck? How could because you because you're mad at this person, you, you went on alive and because they won't allow you when they did nothing, you did nothing to them. You just won't allow them to shit on you anymore, steal from you, hurt you, and you you decided to cut these people off, focus on yourself, heal, and better yourself. Like, what? The, the, tell me you, like, that's, like, a, beyond a narcissist. Like, that is way beyond a narcissist. That's, like, a sociopath to the fullest of all degrees. Like, what in the f is wrong with you people? To the strength guard, to the fucking, to the death, to the judgments. Uh, Leo could possibly be passing away. They're running out of time. Oh, 
Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, Loved Ones Pass Away. What does the collective need to know? Yeah, they do. They know it's like a matter of time, any second now, any minute. They got caught, just like I caught this card. They got caught for holding on to a house that belongs to you. And it's a painful, permanent ending to that. And for how holding on to a faulty his foundation, and which was actually yours. Like, whatever this is that they're holding on, definitely a house that they stole from you. It's coming in. They know it's a painful, permanent ending to them. And to them, hold, like, having, you know what I mean? They're, and whatever their stability was. Because it was a false ass, like, the, it was all, you know, um... They're only stable because it was your shit that they took and other people's. Like, you're a fucking loser, dude. For real, like, what? You have the nerve to be mad at the collective when the collective did nothing wrong to you, you scumbag piece of shit. I'm just gonna say it the way it is. Seven of Pentacles. Um, <laughs> seven of Pentacles, seven, seven. To the Seven of Swords, to the Moon, to the um, Five of Pentacles, okay? They're getting kicked out of your house, all right? Now, whatever they're holding on to, your ships are coming in, your investments, or, and whatever seeds you're planting, they're flourishing beautifully. It's got these scumbags heavily burdened about this because whatever they stole from you, all the lies, the betrayals, the moon magic that they were doing, the moon magic, and the death magic, everything they did, they want to apologize because they're getting eclipsed out, okay? They're being watched, hooting and hollering, doing whatever sacrificial rituals or whatever they were doing, at, at, um, hooting and hollering at, at night. They're, have, they're under some sort of psychic and psychic and, um, you know, um, demonic attacks, and it's because of, they attacked themselves, the fucking idiots. Um, they secretly want to apologize to you now, but that there is a secret, like, they don't really, they're too much of a bitch to actually apologize, and your ex is getting kicked out of a home, possibly the house that belongs to you, and it's coming into you, it's coming, it's coming back to you. And they don't want to smile on your face, step you in the bag, no more your ex, because they're heavily burdened, because, you know what I mean? Um, what do you call it? Because they know your ships are coming in. So, like, they're even... Now they have nowhere to go. And I'm strongly feeling for somebody out there. This isn't for everybody, but for somebody. Your ex is really trying to sneak their bitch ass in. They're going to secretly try to apologize and be like, Well, no, they're going to... Just like a narcissist always does. They're going to somehow try and flip it. And manipulate you. And be like, well, it, no, like, it's not like... It didn't really happen like that. Look, you see, well, I was forced into doing this. And really, I was doing it to protect you. And, you know, if it wasn't for me... Yeah, get to, get go away, please. I don't... Just go away from me. But don't worry because they're not even going to get a chance to apologize to you because they're going to a prison cell if they make it there. If they make it to a prison cell. Because I'm surely getting there. They're going to, there might be your ex that's passing away. Somebody's passing away by April 8th or April 9th. And they, they're not, they're also one like, they're trying to come in recently with a false ass, like, oh no, they're trying to snake their little bitch asses in. They're also trying to, like, do something in, in your sleep. Or they got kicked out of your energy. Like, I feel like they maybe they had some, I don't know, maybe they could astral project or whatever. Or they're trying to, while you sleep, they're trying to do something in your sleep state. With the moon card here and the nine of, um, the nine of, uh, swords. They're being really fucking childish about this. They're doing, they're stealing something. There's something in your dream states. Maybe, like, it was, um, maybe downloads. Maybe you get downloads in your sleep. They're trying to, they're doing something. They're playing around in your energy for the last damn time. They're holding on to some sort of investments that they stole, secretly stole from you. <laughs> Excuse me. Confirmation. It could be like stocks, bonds, shares, something like that. That was left to you along with this house in this inheritance or something. But you have somebody coming in and protect you. But yeah, I feel like they got kicked out of your, your energy completely. Maybe you did a cord cutting um, or a cord removal, as you should. Um, or, you know, um, I don't know if you guys seen the readings I did this morning. Uh, telling you you need to do a cord cutting and sacral chakra. Because um, that's what they're doing. They're harvesting your... They're getting like all your good shit from your, your sacral chakra. They were, you know, they were attaching... They were sucking out all your creativity, your fertility and everything. 
now they can't get in. They can't get in no more. It could be a Scorpio for sure. A Scorpio that's trying to block your path. That's trying to walk in your shoes. But they won't ever be able to stand at the fucking second in your... They would never be able to fit in your shoes. Even though they got bigger feet than you. <laughs> they would never be able to follow your path. You know what I mean? They would never be able to. Ever. They would not be able to deal with any of the shit that, that you've been through. Ever. And they know it. They want, and that irritates them too. They want to know how you can always keep going on, no matter what they put you through, and everybody else puts you through what you've been through. You keep like you still stay, stay so divine. You still stay in the light. You don't want the darkness to you know turn you dark, and you still are so loving, nurturing, caring, and divine. They want to know how you do this because you're an earth angel, idiot. Yeah. Now you're getting your cup full. Your cup's going to be overflowing with love, okay? And it's protected. You're protected from these idiots from your past. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, from the past, do they? What does the collective need to know? What do they need to be aware of at this time? Please and thank you. They're trying to steal some magic from you. Whatever you're like, they're trying to steal whatever your magic is, like whatever your creativity is, your sacral chakra and your root chakra. If you didn't, yeah, if you didn't watch that reading, um, all of a sudden you need to, you need to, um, they're definitely doing divination spying or were of some sort. You need to do um, a um, sacral chakra uh, cleansing first. Cut the cords first. Do another in-depth um, cord cutting. And when you do it, visualize the cords being cut, sealed, and removed. Um, you know what I mean? Completely so they can't reattach nothing. And then do a sacral chakra cleansing, a root chakra cleansing, um, and healing. You know, the cleansing and healing. And um, it was your third eye third eye and your crown chakra i would do all of them but mainly definitely your sacral it's very important for you to do the sacral chakra your root chakra um your heart chakra was the other one because they're trying to attach to your heart but your your sacral chakra and your crown yeah but your sacral and the root um was like the the main main they're trying to have themselves rooted into your you know what i mean they're trying to have you off balance unstable now they are they're completely off balance they're completely unstable they want to know how you stay so grounded. Like, I want to go in. They're nervous because you have your sword up against them. All right. Thank you, Spirit. We got the... Oh, shit. They're nervous about going to prison. You have your sword up. And look, they your ex got kicked out of either their house or your house that they're, they're staying in. They want to come in. They want to, they were trying to come back, apologize with a fake ass apology. If it was even an apology, I don't even feel like they were going to apologize. I feel like if anything, they would like probably try to, hey, what's up? Uh, can we just like pretend like nothing happened? Like I didn't just do everything wrong to you. But you said, absolutely not. You, um, you put your sword up and you're like, I want nothing to do with you. Like you want some problems? Come, come get it. Come get it and see what happens. Um, I'm part of the, you know, I'm, I'm half, I wish a bitch would tribe and have, uh, come fuck around, fuck around and find out, uh, tribe. Okay. No, they weren't expecting that. They thought that after time went by, they figured they'd give enough time uh, to, to go by and then they could snake in thinking that they they did a love spell for sure they did a love spell and they come to me spell when the come to me spell wasn't working they knew they were running out of time so they're like all right well let me just do like whip up some more come to me spells more love spells um illusion spells whatever else and let me go in and try and snake my little bitch ass in and it didn't work you had your sword up you probably either left them on red or you just you know you, you completely ignored them or you just told them like stay the fuck away from me as you should they were shocked by the way they were completely shocked about that and because you're keeping your sword up and you you're standing you know you're staying in your power you're not allowing these scumbags to come trick you out of your spot and finish their job is why your ships are coming in why everything your all your seeds that you're planting are are flourishing and why you're getting your justice because you learn these lessons okay and they're very big important lessons to learn now if you keep bringing these people back in for those of you that are doing this this is why your ships ain't coming in you need the people that you need to cut off that you know deep down inside that ain't for you that been hurting you and doing this 
like you're delaying your own progress honey so stop okay i understand trust me we've all been there with this you know it just depends on what time what what part of the um so what time you know where you are and what timeline and everything but now they're nervous because they were banking on they were heavily invested like, you know they were heavily um they're heavily burdened about this too, okay? They were trying to, you know, act like they weren't, they didn't want to fight with you anymore. It was, they didn't want to smell in your face, so I'd be back tomorrow, but that's a fucking lie, all right? It was all an illusion. It's part of that illusion spell too. Now they're nervous because they know this death magic. They know that you have your sword up. They don't know what to do. This magic ain't working. They can't get in your energy. They can't get around you. You won't put your sword down. So they're like, shit, what do I do? Time's running out. Like, you know what I mean? They're screwed. They know it. They're nervous about what they stole from you, also coming back to light, all right? And also because whatever, like, you know, with the sacral chakra thing, whatever they were stealing, whatever creativity and everything they were stealing from you, um, and everything else, you know, with the sacral chakra, right? but uh, they don't, that's how they were getting money too, and they can't, they can't get into your energy field no more. Um, so they're nervous about that. They have no foundation. Everything's done. They're going to prisons. So they're heavily, heavily um, burdened about going into prison. They're in a mental, mental prison right now. They're trying to do some sort of binding magic, okay? They messed up big time by doing this in this last full moon. And also, I feel like they were playing around on Mercury met uh, retrograde. Not smart, okay? Um, they're being watched. They were being watched by the feds. <sighs> They're being watched by the feds when it is or somebody, you know, somebody, not just local police, okay? I'm talking about the big guys, the, the big guys, the big girls, the ones you don't, but big guys, big women. Um, you know, the ones you don't want to sauce with, but these idiots got all the sauce in the world with them. Um, they're being watched doing all this. And they're scared to death. They know they're bound to this death magic they sent out to you. It was death magic, chaos magic, um, psychic attacks, a lot. They're under like, they, 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 cause they know that they're running out. They was like, they were thinking, all right, well, it's either collective or it's me. Here comes the eclipse. Let's just try to eclipse them out. So they really went, they, I feel like they might have like grouped up with a lot of people thinking that, all right, well, if they, we got the power of, you know, everybody together, you know, we can definitely take it out. Absolutely not. You probably didn't even feel any effects of this shit. Because you're way too protected. You're way too strong. You're way too powerful. You're way too protected. And they should have never did what they did. They're dumb. They're dumb. Not only are they, they, you know, um, not only is it going back to them, they're being watched doing it. They're like on camera or something. They're caught on camera doing it. It could be a father figure, an uncle figure. Be that you're protected from or a workplace or whatever. Your work is protected too. You're planning your whole new world, so completion is the end of a cycle. You are protected from whatever this father or uncle or workplace, whatever this is, um, whatever their plans were. It's a completion is the end of a cycle. This whole group, whole common sacred society. They're done. Some people are passing away, and some people are, are getting locked up. Some people are passing away before. We have 7-7. Seven, seven. Um, there's some people... And look, we have four plus three, that's seven, so seven, seven, seven. Um, or four plus three right here, too. So four plus three is seven, and then four plus three is seven, so seven, 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 seven. But anyway, um, and then five plus two, that's seven, so seven, <laughs> seven, 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 seven. God's all over the board, okay? <laughs> God ain't playing with these fools. But anyway, before I get caught up in the numbers, um, what do you call it? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, they're just done. People are passing away. Some are going to pass away before, um, by either April 8th or the, look, in the 8th or 9th. Either the 8th or the 9th, or maybe both. Um, we have 9-9 nine, nine here. But, yeah, and they're done, and they know it. They fucking know it. And the other ones are getting locked up. Some of them are going to end up taking their own, they're going to do 5150, because they were doing 5150 spells on you, so it's a return to sender. So, some people are, you know... Um, everything that they've been doing to you is coming back to them, is being done to them, but even worse. And that's why you don't do this shit to people like, like, what? And they can't even be mad about it, which I don't understand how they're mad about it, because how can you do something to somebody and then really have the balls and audacity to be upset when it's done to you? You're a hypocrite. You're weak. Like, like, what? Guys, can we get those likes up, please, and thank you? Yeah, you're sick. Oh, shit. Okay. You're secretly single, social, independent, possibly. <laughs> they paid to do some sort of money blockages that's not working. 
you're getting a message about from possibly um, a king of wands, somebody in power. All right, Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, Lord, passed away. What is the outcome of the situation? Please and thank you. I got to pee. Thank you. Damn, Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Dude, your ex took a huge, your ex in a cup or something, took a huge, 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 huge hit. They got to walk away from this Ace of Pentacles because it was never theirs. It was yours. Ace of Pentacles is like money, finances, you know, um, materialistic stuff. It's a big blessing. But it was a, it's a, you know, they're idiots. It was yours. You can't steal any Aces or gifts from God. And anybody that did, it was only an illusion, okay? It's um, only an illusion. You're going to get it back, okay? So that's what they try to steal from you. And that's what they're holding on to is Ace of Pentacles. Or they were. It's in the reverse. Now they have to walk away from what they stole, which is this Ace of Pentacles that they're holding on to, or were, because it's in reverse now, um, and a, a house. They got to walk away from it, from what they stole from you, and they're hella nervous about this. They don't know what they're going to do. And something that they're holding on to, that's some sort of investment, some sort of like stocks, bonds, shares, something like that. They're going to prison for this. Wow, look at this. You're beautiful. You're um, the Empress followed by the High Priestess. Wow, look at this. This is beautiful. So you're very creative. You're very fertile. You're a very, very, very loving, nurturing, caring person. Um, you're all the queens embodied in one. Um, what do you call it? Whatever you're doing with your spiritual gifts, you're extremely, extremely creative in it. And you're extremely fertile. Um, and whatever you're doing with it, it's, it's bringing you passionate new beginnings. You're getting like this beautiful, um, you know, wand, like God get, gifted Moses, his magical little wand, his magical wand, you know what I mean? Um, and it's with your spiritual gifts, like you are extremely, 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 extremely spiritual, like your gifts are extremely powerful. Extremely powerful. God heard your prayers. You healed. All right. And God heard your prayers. They're being answered. All right. You're going to be working together with somebody or somebody's coming to work with you. It could be a queen of pentacles. Some amount of collaboration. Or maybe someone's going to collaborate, which is going to help you put get, get you into this queen of pentacles energy if you're not already. And the one million percent ace words truth has come out about how you're a loving, nurturing, caring person. How somebody tried to sacrifice you and how these idiots are caught. You're going to have a reason to celebrate and you're moving away. could be across a body of water. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, Ancestors, loved ones have passed away. Yeah, and they're worried too because they, all, they, they have no money. They have, they're broke now They because everything it wasn't theirs. It was the bank accounts are being seized. They're trying to hide money. Like they're trying to bury money and shit. They're being watched doing it. Now they don't have money or the resources to be able to get a lawyer or anything. Not that a lawyer is going to help them. They're, a lawyer is not going to be able to. They, they're, they're, they're so screwed. They might as well um, just go representing themselves. Don't even waste, you know, don't even waste anybody's time. It, or any more money because you don't even have the money to do it. And everybody's turning on them. So they're, they're just screwed. I thought they were so smart though, right? What's the outcome of spirit? Please and thank you. Holy Spirit, Divine Spirit, Angels, the Ancestors, all of them have passed away. Thank you. Yeah, they walked away and they realized too, your ex realized they walked away from your ultimate wish fulfillment, which was you. And you, my darling, they're doing it secretly though. They don't want you to know. They don't want to tell nobody. They know into the inside, deep down inside, they know that, you know, that you are their ultimate wish fulfillment, that you are their blessing from God. They feel like a whole asshole. And you are, with the magician card right here, they're trying to steal your ultimate wish fulfillment. They ain't stealing shit. All right. Um, they're secretly, they want to apologize secretly because they know that you're their ultimate wish fulfillment. They don't want to fight with you anymore. But whatever, they can go F themselves. But um, they're nervous about you getting your ultimate wish fulfillment. 
and I feel like you've been like having to like secretly celebrate like your your wins and stuff that's not gonna happen no more I'm sure I'm getting your ex could even possibly had a dream of you being married and happy and having you like you know the world where it would like the world that they could have had with you but they are idiots and decided to play their cards completely wrong and treat you like shit and they're like, you know, I'm showing sure in like they were like waking up, sobbing their eyes out like a little baby, crying about this. But they're keeping it inside a secret. Cause they're such a narcissist piece of crap. They don't, they can't, you know, God forbid if they actually be a man and cry like in, in like say how they truly feel. But you're getting justice. And it's about to put you into this King of Pentacles energy. You're getting this generous blessing from the justice system because you're, you know, you're suing all these people. And like I said, for some use, the justice system is going to, um, for somebody out there, they're going to offer you a job. And you're very, you know, you're very powerful. You're very good looking inside and out. And you are a star. You're definitely a healer. You're in your purpose. And your purpose is bringing you, um, major blessings. Okay. You're, you are like, you're going to be famous for sure. I'm telling you right now, this whole case, I feel like it might even make you famous, let alone what you're doing, which are in your power, which your um, and also the justice system is watching. I ever said that, right. They're watching you on your, if you have a, like a platform or something, they're watching you and they're watching, and they like, you know, um, they see how powerful you truly are. And, you know, you are a star. They see they're you're also helping, um, whether you know it or not, you're helping, like, solve your own case. You're going to be getting a message. All right, guys, I got to pee really bad, so I'm going to leave it right here. Um, Till next time, remember, oh, remember, God loves you, so do I spread love, not hate always, all right? And do not, please do not forget to give God, Jesus, angels, ancestors, and loved ones that passed away the utmost love, respect, gratitude, and appreciation because they're moving mountains for us out and getting ready to rain down miracles on us, all right? And please do not, um, yeah, if you did not hit that like button yet, please hit that like button, please hit share if you like to share, and please hit subscribe and turn that notification bell on to all, so you can always be updated whenever I put another message out there for you guys, and if you like to donate, you do not have to, it's not a requirement, but it is truly appreciate the info is in the description box down below, and thank you from the bottom of but with all of my heart. I have time to anybody and everybody who chooses to do so, and to everybody who has been, thank you, thank you, thank you, may God bless your beautiful souls tenfold, God bless.